Today we are taking a walk through the beautiful Silver Ridge Peaks to talk about the current grinding method that I am using here on the Black Bear Great One grind. Now this is a method that is by no means new and I've actually used it a little bit in the past and I just want to say full credit goes to I believe Jaxybeard and Flinder. They were the ones who originally uh, started this type of a grinding method back years and years ago towards the beginning of the game's existence and well, it's kind of just been adopted over the years by various different people and well recently it has become a pretty effective way for me to grind here on Silver Ridge Peaks for the Black Bear. Now before I was getting maybe a diamond every 3 to 400 kills. The second I started grinding like this, I was getting a diamond every run for about 4 to 5 runs in a row and within the next 10 runs I had a total of... I believe seven or eight diamonds which is absolutely crazy it was quite the massive change and I've been doing it on stream as well we've had quite a few diamonds show up recently on live stream and it's been very crazy seeing the difference between just shooting everything and doing what we've been doing so without further ado let's talk about what we've been doing to get all these diamonds to spawn now one of the major differences between the herd management technique which is what we're using now and the methods that I used to use is Normally I would blast every single male bear in sight and just not really worry too much about what I'm shooting as long as it was a male it was going down and recently since I've started adopting the herd management techniques I've been leaving bears this size and well really anything that is below this weight estimate. Now this bear is up to 227 kg so it is the bare minimum of what we would want to take out. Level 5s with this weight estimate and above are the only thing that we're taking out and it has got me incredible luck recently. At some points I was even getting a diamond every 7 to 15 kills, which is a little bit absurd to think about. Now I wasn't killing very many bears per run, I was only killing between 7 and 15 per run, but every single run a diamond was showing up, and it was pretty incredible. And I was never having this much luck until I started only shooting the high weight 5s and above. Now as I did mention at the beginning of this video, originally uh, Flinter and Jaxybeard had both kind of messed around with this strategy uh, towards the beginning of the time of Call of the Wild's existence and though Flinter has kind of stopped uh, going in that direction and has leaned more towards just shooting everything in sight which is what I've done most of my time playing as well, uh, Jaxybeard stuck with it throughout the years and slowly perfected it over time and well at this point I've used it probably three or four times throughout the two years that I've done YouTube and every time I've done it, it's worked really well. But I've never seen it work as well as it's working with the bears. Never before have I had this many diamonds in such a small amount of kills. I think we've had around 10 in the last 500 kills which is kind of crazy to think about. As well as a couple rares along the way too. And I do want to show you guys some of the uh, kills that we did end up getting along with it, but first we're going to talk a little bit more about what you're going to want to do. Like I mentioned, you're going to want to shoot anything that is a high weight estimate 5 and above, but one thing that you will want to pay attention to is how many of those are coming back as smaller than that weight estimate. If you start noticing that some of them are getting kind of small and you don't have very many large males left on your map, I do recommend doing what I would call a purge run where you basically go through and shoot everything that is below a high weight estimate 5, leaving all of the larger ones for the next run, and then a lot of those ones that you will shoot that are smaller will have a chance at coming back as the weight estimates that you're targeting. And once you've done a purge run, go back to shooting only the high weight 5s and above, and that typically gets you back on track with the uh, grinding. Now something that is very unique about the black bear grind though is the fact that they move around more than any species that I've ever hunted. Typically with a lot of species you can kind of guarantee like what lakes they're going to be at but with the bears I've noticed that they alternate between every single possible lake that they could be at and I'm sure that anybody that's grinding them has noticed that as well. It can be very frustrating when they're constantly moving around so what I like to do is anytime that I notice there's some bears that don't really seem to be coming to their zones and I'm not getting nearly as many as I want at the zones I typically hunt I will check some of the locations that I don't really go to that often. Now that's why I've got a tent right here is because this is not an area that I hunt, neither is this lake, but occasionally they will get some males there 
and so I do like to have a tent near them so I can go check it out. Same with this, I have a tent here so that I can check these two lakes as well, and occasionally I will get a few males there, though it is not too often. So very shortly we are going to go ahead and show off a bunch of the diamonds that I have got since I started using this technique. But I did also want to mention that the last three live streams that we've done, we have managed to get one to two diamonds every single stream. Which is absolutely incredible to be seeing it happen in real time, live on stream for everybody to watch, and it's been pretty incredible. I've been very pleasantly surprised at how well it's worked, considering I had never really stuck with it with any of the other grinds. It had worked for a little bit, but I'm assuming I just never stuck with it long enough to fully see the results of it. But with this bear grind, I am committed to just doing this method for the rest of the grind. And we're going to see how long it takes me to get the, the great ones since I've started it. As of now, we've killed probably 500 with this technique over the last four days or so. And I'm hoping that we can get the great one relatively soon so that I can kind of follow up with this. But either way, I think it is pretty safe to say that it has definitely increased my amount of diamonds. And I think it's time we go take a look at some of those diamonds that we ended up getting over the last few days using the herd management techniques. Well guys, I decided to put Jaxy Beard's herd management strategy uh, to the test here on the Black Bear. And I've already got some results. We got ourselves a legendary. I don't know where he has got off to. I blasted a few bears and he ended up running away. However, I'm assuming he's going to come back very soon and when he does we will take him down. Now I do want to say that I have not, uh, I'm not new to this strategy in particular. I have done it before on the red deer and the white tail and had a decent amount of success, but I figured I'd try it on the black bear. Now typically I don't necessarily stick to this strategy. I'll try it here and there when I'm having bad luck and a lot of times it will turn the luck around and we're going to try and stick with it as much as I can, but as of now I have no idea if this is the strategy we will continue to use going forward. But at least for a day or two, we're going to try it out and just see how it does. I will keep you guys posted as to whether or not I uh, stick with this. Uh, as of now, we're going to keep trying it, see how it does. Well, I decided to fast travel all the way up to the top and it looks like we do have some black bear right here. Uh, the question is, are any of these our nine? I'm going to assume that it's got to be somewhere up here. And that's a, that's a two. Well, that's quite the opposite of a legendary. Well, there he is. There's our legendary. 21 to 23 on the estimate, so we know for a fact it cannot be a max score. Now, we have been doing this strategy right here using a Jaxie Beard's herd management techniques for exactly one run before we spawned this guy. And I think that alone is going to make this kind of worth doing a full video on, so we most likely will do that very soon, and that's probably where this clip will end up, is in a video uh, talking about this strategy and uh, exactly how it's done. Now obviously, like I was saying, I will do a lot more of this and see if it really is a viable way to hunt the black bear, or if it simply takes too long, considering you're not gonna be shooting nearly as many of them. But uh, we shall see. We will see how this goes. Hopefully it ends up being something that everybody can do and have decent luck with. Well, there's our legendary. He's being kind of weird up there. I don't exactly know if he's even gonna come back down. I suppose we'll just wait here and kind of see. Looking like he's acting kind of strange though. There he is. There is our legendary right there. He's definitely going to stay up top I think. But honestly, this might give us a pretty decent opportunity to take him down. Now I don't necessarily trust that angle because he's just barely showing however. That right there looks to be a pretty solid hit into him. And I think he will go down from a vital hit did not look like spine so I think we should be okay and there he is hopefully this guy will end up making diamond if so this will be diamond number eight of the grind and it's a diamond at 2320 let's go as of now we've got eight diamonds and one troll plus one rare so honestly we're not doing terrible on diamonds but for rares not the greatest but you know I'll take it it's still a trophy regardless and that is a beautiful, beautiful black bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one. Two runs in a row. Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> that is not what I expected to see. Another legendary one run later, right after that last legendary. This is getting insane. You know, 
there definitely might be something to the herd management techniques. You know, I've tried them in the past many times, like I mentioned, had some decent luck, but after a while, it just started becoming so rare to find anything level 7 and above that I just stopped doing them and started blasting everything once again. I gotta find a way to kind of keep those uh, higher level animals still spawning. And if I can get that to happen, it seems like we actually do get some pretty good luck from it. But it's just a matter of keeping your populations producing level 6 and above black bears. Which, uh, considering Call of the Wild is a randomized game, respawns sometimes will go down to like a level 5 or a level 4. So, eventually if you're just shooting 6 and above, you will get a lot of them turning into lower levels. But, I think we can kind of mix it up and maybe shoot all the low levels one or two runs to get some of the high levels back. And then continue this method. That's kind of what we did in the past to balance it out, and it might be the way we have to go here with the black bear. But, uh, let's try to get this guy down. Let's just shoot next to him. And see if we can get him to turn, and somehow he's fleeing. Okay, did not expect that, actually. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I think we should be able to still get him, though. Yeah, he did stop right up there, so we really didn't go too far. We should be able to just sneak one in there right now. And then attempt to get this 7 as well. That guy is in the proper weight range that we're targeting at the moment. So let's get him down. That is another level 9 two runs in a row. That is honestly crazy. Never would have expected that. But I gotta say, I'm pretty happy to see it. Uh, let's see if we can bag all of these other level 6s and above. But it looks like we got them all. There was only 3. Well, this should be our guy right here. And if he ends up making diamond, this will be diamond number 9 of the grind. And a legendary 10 overall. Let's see. Is it? It's a diamond at 2370. That is the biggest one of the grind so far. What a monster. 2370 is dangerously close to max score. Uh, with max score being 24. That is incredible. The largest diamond of the grind. It's my favorite fur type. And we got it one run after another diamond. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Well, I'm going to keep doing this and we'll see if I continue to get legendaries. If I do, then you guys will definitely be seeing some type of video going more in depth about this. Oh my gosh, I just got ran over by a legendary. Dude, this is the third run in a row with a level 9. And of course, I didn't have my recording software ready when it ran into me. But, uh, <laughs> that would have been amazing. It literally ran us over. And now we got to chase it down. What is going on? So I went and topped off my ammo to kind of bring myself up to roughly 1500 on the 308. I started my next run, I took out a couple black bear at some of the other lakes, and most of them had not arrived, so I decided to come down here. And sure enough, legendary number three. This is absurd. If we don't get the great one soon, I don't know what is even going on. We have to get this great one soon at this rate. Three legendaries in three runs. Now, provided this makes diamond, this is going to be absolutely insane. Alright, so he has calmed down, which means we will get a decent angle to take him out at. Provided he actually goes broadside, which is never a guarantee. But I think he's at least in a spot where we could get his attention again just by running up. And then hopefully get him to go broadside. Okay, so he's actually going away from us. I thought he was walking towards us, but he is going away, which is not ideal. This is definitely not a good situation. Hopefully, there he is. We finally have his attention if he does that again. Or he could just run. Yeah, that works too, I guess. I honestly still just can't believe that if this guy ends up making it, this will be the third run in a row with a diamond black bear. Now, uh, he's definitely being a lot more stubborn than the others, so we will have to work a little bit more to get him. But uh, once we get him down, hopefully he'll end up making it. And if he does, that's three diamonds in a row. Or, well, not in a row, but three runs with a diamond in a row. So I think we finally got it into a clearing where we should be able to take the shot. I can't imagine it running past this clearing right here, so hopefully once it stops we'll actually be able to get a shot into it. And it's uh, looking like now is our chance, provided it doesn't uh, continue moving. Let's uh, real quickly just drop a 22 shot near it. And hopefully that will uh, get its attention enough to where it'll actually stop moving. But it's uh, looking like it might be a stubborn one. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know how close these shots are getting. 
I'm assuming not close enough, so let's just do that right there. And that should be good enough. Uh, actually not. This guy is just zooming. I honestly don't know what we're going to have to do to get this guy to stop. I mean, we could just run up until we alert him. But that has got him to spook the last two times, so... I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. Uh, there he is. Um, how's it going, buddy? Maybe we can, uh, get a shot into him, although I don't really trust doing a shot like that. If he slows down, though, we might actually be able to. That looked like a solid shot. I think we got him. I think we actually got that shot right there. I imagine he'll go down in any second, and that's definitely vital blood. That is definitely a vital blood pool right there. And he is down. Wow, that was not the shot I was expecting to take, but it worked out in the end. And this does appear to be a dusky, I do believe. Yeah, it's looking like it. It's a diamond 2280. Just barely made it. Wow, that is incredible. Three runs, three diamonds. I am honestly very quickly becoming convinced that this does work pretty well. Now the question is, will we be able to keep having level 6s and above? Or will it get to the point where there's so many below that that we have to wipe those out? I guess time will tell. We'll find out shortly, and I'm going to keep you guys updated on what goes on with it. But uh, so far, it's looking very promising for the Black Bear. Oh my gosh, that's a legendary. <laughs> Another one. Oh, I think Aaliyah's excited about it too. <laughs> that's four runs in a row. I am honestly just so genuinely blown away at the luck we've been having ever since I started using the herd management uh, type grinding technique. This is just absolute insanity. Never before have I had four legendaries in four runs with Black Bear. These honestly used to be one of the most impossible diamonds for me to get and the fact that I've seen four legendaries in four runs just blows my mind. I never thought I'd be able to do this and, well, we've got it right here, a fourth one in four runs. Can we get him to stand up? If we can get him to stand up, then we can take the shot. Ooh, that is sketchy, but that should be a good shot right there. That is amazing. I'm sold. Like, I don't know what more I would need to see to be convinced that it works. It definitely is working from what I can tell. Now, like I said earlier in one of the other clips of one of the previous run diamonds, whether or not it's going to continue producing males that are above that, uh, I guess, second weight tier and above, uh, whether it continues producing those is uh, unknown as of now. I've had troubles with losing out on all the big males eventually and have them turning into smaller males. But so far, it's staying pretty consistent as long as it keeps up like this. I think this grind is going to get a whole lot easier and hopefully end way sooner than we expected it to. But I think this is our bear right here. This definitely seems like it's where we shot him and I think we dropped him on the spot even with a heart shot. It's a diamond to 2360. That's crazy. I'm blown away. Like, I really don't even know what to say. This is just truly insane. Four runs, four legendary black bear, and I think we've had them at the same two lakes each time if I'm not mistaken, which is even crazier. Uh, this lake right here has been a massive producer of legendary bears, and so is the other one that we ended up getting one of these at. They both produced more bears than, or I guess more diamond bears than all other lakes combined during this grind. It's kind of crazy, but I really don't know like how to feel right now. This is absolutely absurd to be getting this many diamonds back to back to back. How's it going, buddy? Oh my gosh. I have yet to have a diamond to this lake. What a way to start the day. What a way to start the day. This strategy has been working so well for me. Going back to the shooting nothing but the big males and then shooting nothing but the littles and kind of alternating. Just like it did with Red Deer, it's producing lots of diamonds. What a start to the day. He's being kind of stubborn, though. He's being very stubborn, actually. Okay, stop walking. And then, actually... 
That should be good right there. Come on. Are you kidding me? That was not good. How was that not good? How was that not good? It looked perfect. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. We might have just messed him up. Oh, we're going to have to get another shot into him, I think. I mean, that might have actually been an okay shot. I don't know. Didn't that look good to you guys? That looked like a perfect shot. Yeah, Duff, it happens to everybody. We all mess up some trophies from time to time. It could be stomach. I don't think, though. He was walking slowly. Guess we're about to find out. Um. Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> okay. Good to know that this wasn't my fault. I think we got screwed over by the game. There's no way it should have hit back there. What just... What? <laughs> I aimed at the front of the shoulder while he was just walking ever so slowly. There's no way it should have hit back there. It would have been a diamond too. Wow. That should not have happened. That is actually crazy. Herd management is working like crazy. Like this whole shooting the male or the high level males for a couple runs and then shooting the low level males to get more high level males and then shooting high level males for a couple more runs. It's working so well. Legendary number two of the day. At this point, guys, I think we have had a legendary on eight of the last 10 runs. That is just absurd. My gosh, I don't even know what to say. That's insane. Let's get him spotted again. There we go. He's going down. Level 9 going down. Beautiful. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Oh my gosh. Is this him right here? I don't remember if this is him. I think this isn't. Oh, it is. Holy. 2320. That's our diamond. Beautiful. Um. Oh, gosh. It did it again. Okay. So I'm not crazy, guys, right? Like, it did the same thing as that other one. So for those that were saying the reason it hit so far back was because we were at 300 meters... Uh, what explanation do you have for this? This was 150, 0 to 150. We aimed right here. It still hit way back there. We aimed clear up here at the top of the shoulder, or front of the shoulder, and it still went clear back to the liver. You know, they always say that the proof is in the pudding, and well, this entire room of Diamond Black Bear, I think, is the proof in the pudding for this particular grind, and... I've just been completely blown away at how many of them have shown up ever since I started just shooting the larger males. And I mean, it makes sense. You shoot large males, you get large males back, but I never knew that it would work this well. And so I just figured I would share this with you guys and kind of explain how I do it and how I've been getting this many diamonds. And considering we've managed to get a diamond every single day on live stream for the last three days, I've been pretty, pretty happy with how things have gone. And plus all the ones that I ended up getting off stream, it's been a pretty crazy few days and I really hope that the great one is going to show up soon because of this. But if you guys enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments and I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. Let me know if you need clarification on anything and also let me know what else you guys would like to know about grinding Black Bear and if there's anything else that maybe I might have missed. With that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed, and I will try to respond to as many as I can, like I was saying. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!